What's up everybody, this is Black Naganashi here with your Adventure Quest video. And I am here to talk about the new Buffalo Beach Bar skill that came with the um the 7500 Z token package. Um this package costs $24.95. Alright. So I'm just gonna get straight to the chase. Alright. So before I apply any buffs to my character, we're gonna do a battle without any buffs to show you the difference in damage. All right. So what I also will discuss is the fact that warriors tend to get the short end of the stick. Mages get shit handed to them. Not hating on mages, but I'm just speaking the truth. All right. So um, mages have two polilas that you can get in game without paying Z tokens if you're lucky enough to get an ultra rare gift box. All right. Warriors, however, we can get Dunamis the guest but we can't get the pet unless we pay for it which sucks now me personally i don't mind kind of because it's, i've been playing this game for 11 years um on the 25th of this month and you know i might as well put money into this shit i have the money for it you know and i've been putting money into this game for years so shit what the fuck you know but that's just my quick input on the matter. But I believe that this new skill is pretty pretty decent. Um, I will only say decent for now because I've tried it prior to me recording this commentary. Um, it's not a bad skill. It's just I haven't seen its full potential yet. But once I see its full potential, you will most definitely see in my upcoming videos, including probably the new um, Kendrick video that I will be doing when um, Kendrick gets updated. Um, the video will be called Kindred Set Quest 2018. Considering that I already did the Kindred Set Quest in the past, but I will most definitely be doing that shit again, even including um, a possible showcase of the updated set minus probably the weapon because it's magic. All right. So the battle's almost done, you know, after so long of me talking. And you're about to see me strike harder with the buffs. All right. So. I had to attack with my no drop because it's only fair. You feel me? Attacking with something stronger is really not fair. You know what I'm saying? Considering that a lot of the items that I do have is from me buying Z tokens or putting money into the game. So I had to at least be fair to the warriors that don't pay to play. All right? So, all right. Now we're going to apply the buffs. All right? So I'm going to explain each buff as far as whether or not you have to pay for them or not, all right? So, Purple Rain. You do not have to pay for this, all right? It's a free item in the game, you know. Not, you know, gold-wise, but I'm saying you don't have to pay money for it, all right? So, that's been applied, all right? Let's see. The Guest Dynamis, of course, free. But, you know, you got to get lucky with the, um, the ultra-rare golden gift boxes in order to capitalize on getting this pet. I meant Guest, sorry. Um... Pet Dynamis, you gotta pay for this shit. You know, you gotta put money into this game to be able to buy this shit. You know, well, not buy it because once you put money into the game, like once you buy the Z token package that has this pet included, you get the pet automatically for free anyway. But everyone should know that already. But if you happen to sell it for some weird reason, um, you can just buy it back. But okay, um, Blood Contract, another plate, another paid item. But there's other items that can increase your damage depending on your stats or, you know, just period. So Blood Contract is not the only item that does it, but Blood Contract is a go-to because it's universal and it's actually pretty good and it's effective. But you do most definitely take more damage in return. All right. Um, Shefton's Iron Thorn, classic-ass item. This should been out for fucking several years. All right. So... That's easy to get, you know what I'm saying? Let's go to the Berserker class quest shit or whatever. And then, of course, we got our new pay-to-play item, the um, Buffalo Beach Bar skill. All right? It gives you 105-plus strength for um, for three rounds. All right? Uh, not too bad at all, if you ask me. So, we're just going to see how the shit really works. All right? So before we start, we're going to pop purple rain, get my motherfucking SP back, and we're going to begin the shit, all right? So as you can see, the damage difference is much better. Um, 
I can say it can be a lot better than it is right now, but you have to consider that we're facing a combat practice trainer with basic 100% stats, all right? But I honestly wanna say that AQ should update the combat practice trainer to where you can set how much health he has and the resistances and the blocking, you know, and the stats even to really test out your shit because the most we can do is test out our damage. You know what I'm saying? And you should be able to set so many types of things when it comes to the combat practice trainer. Like, you should be able to set the triggers for weapons. Like, they set, like, you know, how your weapon would act if it was triggered. You know, not just dragon-type weapons, because, you know, of course, if I bring a dragon blade into this battle, I'm going to do harm damage to this dude because he's telling me a dragon. But, um... I'm talking about, like, other items that trigger on, like, demons and some shit like that. Like, I want to see how a weapon going to act, you know, versus this shit, you know. To see how it act versus our actual demon-type monster to, you know, know how to utilize the strategy. All right. Hopefully a lot of people get what I'm saying, but I'm pretty sure you guys do. It's not rocket science at all. All right. With that, the battle has come to an end. All right. So, yeah. I think that the combat practice trainer should be a lot more detailed instead of just being a tank monster with weak damage and basic ass weaknesses and shit and i also think that you can you should be able to change the little element here at the top right of his stat page to be able to um to be able to capitalize on certain weapon effects that affects element or any other effect that affects element um, same for level, of course, to, you know, to test out how often the ability may proc. This will, this should actually better help people in the forums or whatever to get, you know, to get things right as far as prop rates and shit. You know, just a little, you know, pointer, you know, something to, you know, something to throw out there. You know what I'm saying? Probably another possible suggestion that I might make, but right now I'm mainly focused on getting the sound toggle, you know, off the ground here, trying to get people on board with um, bringing back the old sounds along with the new sounds that's already into the game, which is trash. Alright, so this particular battle, I'm still going to be applying the buffs, but I'm going to be using my armors that I have. Alright, so um, you know, do my usual shit for real. Alright, let's see. But yeah, um, everything has been going great overall. Um, so I can most definitely say that I'm, um, I'm coming back to YouTube. All right. Um, I don't know if I told you guys already. I think I've said it in the forum once or twice, and I think I might have mentioned that in Discord as well. That when I put that video out there, said that I quit. You know, I was serious at first, but I take it back now. You know what I'm saying? I most definitely take it back. Um, also, I will still be doing video requests as well. But the exception is, if I've already done a similar video on it, I will not be doing it again. I apologize, but I'm not doing the same video again because, you know, there's no point if there's already a video out regarding that request. Let's go ahead and check out that old video. But I will still be accepting video requests. And I am most definitely back on YouTube. You feel me? I'm not gone. You know, I've decided to go ahead and just stay on um, YouTube. But let's see. Also, another thing that's also not changing is the fact that I'm not going to be posting videos on every little event that comes out. Because there's still shit in this game that does not catch my interest. You know? But if it's requested, if it's requested, it will cancel out what I just said. So if I said, okay, I'm not doing a video on updated Kindred because it does not pique my interest, and someone says, hey, can you do a video on a new Kindred, I'm going to do it anyway because someone requested it. But as everyone should already know, I'm doing a video on a new Kindred. That's, that is an automatic, all right? That is an automatic. And for those who don't know, um, today is July 6th, and... The event will be coming out tomorrow on the 7th. Um, it was supposed to come out today, 
but um, something happened with one of the staff, so they could not release it. They could not release it today, which is fine because I have to work. So I wouldn't have been able to post a video right away anyway. So, you know, um, despite the conditions of that staff member, um, it's good that the event has been pushed back. All right. So, yeah. Um, I will be making a video on the new quest. And I will, will possibly do, be doing a showcase on the updated Kindred. Chances are I should be doing it because it's just like, it's Kindred. Like, who the fuck? Wouldn't want to see a video on the new Kindred one. Second off, like, it's Kindred. Like, come on now. Like, you, who would not? Like, people, I think, in my opinion, um, other than Asgardian Plate in the past, the Kindred, the Kindred's Valiance, um, is when you really started seeing high damage. Like, when that shit came out and people started focusing all the way to five and shit, you saw them big ass numbers pop on the screen. You get all amazed and shit. And you get happy. You know that's when damage really started. Nowadays, that shit is just thrown around through all armors. Not complaining, by the way. It's thrown around through all armors. You know, in a game that has enough, you know, power to it. You know, I'm not saying it's boring, but I just want to see Kindred blow a lot of these armors out the water. But Kindred would not make these armors obsolete because the fact of how you know, the damage is as far as monsters now, because monsters hit a lot harder than us, which is actually really bad, you know, but we, it just forces us to be defensive, so, um, in order to use the Kindred, you would just have to probably be facing a water monster, or whatever the case may be, you know, I'm pretty sure Kindred will have a second defense, you know, as far as that, all right, so, Kindred will be great, but it honestly won't be as great as it used to be, because back then, you could use Kindred against anybody and win. But now, because of, you know, how the sweep is set up, you know, you can't bring a Ken you can't bring Kindred's Valiance into a battle with a fucking fire or energy monster and expect to win. Because they're going to hit you for so much fucking damage that you're not going to want to use Kindred. You're going to want to use an energy armor and be defensive. Unless they, you know, have an energy Kindred, but, you know, that's impossible. But just saying. Um, I forgot to fucking apply the damn scale, but, um, yeah, uh, either way, the, the Kendra is still going to be love, without a doubt, without a doubt, and I just cannot wait until it releases, um, so one more thing before this video ends, um, to everyone that's watching, please do me a huge favor, and... I will most definitely appreciate you forever. In reference to my sound toggle video that I made, um, that is still going on, please continue to share the link. Whoever commented their name on that video, I still got you on that shout out. You know, if this shit, you know, comes to life. And to those who share the link through this video, also comment your name below. All right, because uh, it's really weird that I'm watching. So many people on the forums post and they play Adventure Quest and they haven't even took the time to take interest in my suggestion. I understand about like probably like 99% of people play with the sounds off, but I actually played with the sounds on, even with music, you feel me? And I don't even like the new sounds. I hate the new sounds so much. So please just do me that favor, you know, and go ahead and, you know, Participate in the post if you haven't already. That's the first thing. The second thing is, please share this with people who has not commented on the suggestion post. Please. That will be very much appreciated. And whoever does this, make sure somehow you can get them to get come to this video or my sound toggle video and comment their name under the video so I can give them a shout out. Whether they make videos or not, you know, I can take their form name down. I can give them a shout out. Either way, I want to... Show people that I appreciate you guys for helping and participating in this suggestion. Because I would like at least some of the classic AQ back if I can't get all of it. And that sound toggle will be most definitely a step in the right direction. So, um, that would be most definitely appreciated. You feel me? Uh, please enjoy this last, this last fight. Until next time. 
and please don't forget to share that link like crazy like even even if it like even if your mouse break just keep sharing it you know what i'm saying keep sharing it you know just keep sharing it all right um everyone have a wonderful day and peace out